Beer wah, wah, wah. What's up, YouTube? This is Takadaroba here, and welcome to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Now, I've never done anything like this before. Um, I don't think I've done anything Pokemon related on my channel before, so I am extremely excited to get started with something new. Uh, the only things I really know about Nuzlocke in general are from my cousin and co let's player, Razkun, who we will be talking about a little bit later and stuff. Um, but as I'm getting started here, I had a couple of notes that I wanted to touch on before, you know, I got into whatever happens. Uh, this is a randomized Nuzlocke. I think I forgot to say that during the intro. But everything's completely randomized. That is, uh, starters, wild Pokemon, trainers, abilities, in-game trades, TMs, and ground items... Uh, I have a couple tweaks on as well that's going to be fastest text, running shoes indoors, lowercase Pokemon names, the national Pokedex at start, and randomized catching tutorials, so that'll be pretty fun when we get to it. Um, I also did want to give credit to uh, my friend Roge the Doge for the art that you can see in the bottom left of my template. He did that a while back for me because I wanted to do, I actually wanted to do a Pokemon Black randomized Nuzlocke, but I was like, well, I want to start with Fire Red, because it's simpler, I knew this game a lot as a kid, it, I think it was Leaf Green was the first one that I ever beat all the way through, and I was so excited about it, um, and then I also wanted to credit my, like I said earlier, cousin and co-let's player Razkun for the layout of the template. He completely laid everything out for me. I just went ahead and opened the document and kind of cleaned it up and everything. So credits to both of them. They're awesome. Their links are in the description, Twitter, whatever's down there. Future Brandon will figure that out. But uh, yeah, let's see if I go over my list here. I think that's all I wanted to touch on. Uh, the only other note I have here is this is my first Nuzlocke. I'm not super duper into Pokemon deep like a lot of people who do Nuzlocke and stuff like this are, so this may be fun for you to watch, but it's going to be a disaster for me. So, I mean, with that, why don't we get started? We're going to be lo looking at controls that do not apply to me in the slightest. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. That is a very old tutorial. I've played many Pokemon games. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button when you and let your adventure begin. I didn't know that Nintendo was like, oh, personal growth. That's what this is all about. Oh, it's my boy. My, my old man. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon, and there you can see our first randomized Pokemon. I don't even know the name of that thing. I believe uh, Fire Red goes up to Gen 3, so we'll be seeing Pokemon all the way up until Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. For some people, Pokemon are pets. <laughs> We're just gonna go with a uh, Bill Cosby voice. Others use it for bell. I don't know if I can do that very well. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. <laughs> and then Pokeball just dematerializes into nothing. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Let's begin with your name. What is it? Uh, it's, uh, remember the controls. How many spaces I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not enough for Taka Daroba. So, we will go with Taka. I don't know what my select button is mapped to, but, uh, you know, we don't need to. I'm going to probably be struggling with the controls there for a minute, for the first episode or two. Right, so your name is Taka. Yes, that's me. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. What was his name? <laughs> um, dude, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably just gonna name him after, uh, Raz. 
just because uh, I know he did a Nuzlocke of Pokemon White for a while there, and I don't really have a name decision for uh, a rival, I guess? I don't know. So we're just going to do Taka versus Raz. You hear You hear that, Colin? I'm coming for you. You're my rival now. Oh, it was Raz. That's right. I remember now. His name was Raz. Taka, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon. Let's go. Didn't give me a whole lot of time to read that. Taka played with the Ness. Okay, it's time to go. Man, if only video games took up that little amount of time. Oh, uh, what do I got in here? I got a potion. That's good. I'm gonna need that. Um, you know that I'm extremely experienced with this kind of thing when I already forgot that it was a Nuzlocke instead of just me screwing around with a randomizer. Um, so I guess we're gonna have some have some uh, beloved creatures die in front of me. Hey, wait! Don't go out. I hope I read that right. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for protection! I know, Kia, come with me! He's just like crazy and insane and abducting me into his laboratory where he's gonna do experiments on me. Oh, we're almost here. Oh, do I get to do a Colin voice? Colin sounds similar to me. I don't know. Uh,. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. That's not a Colin voice. That's just a... <clears throat> Raz... <laughs> Let me think. Well, that's right. I just told you to come. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Oak over here has, like, dementia. Here, Taka. There are three Pokemon there. <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on and choose. Hey, Gramps. No fair. What about me? Be patient, Drows. You can have one, too. Oh, man. Let's see what my choices are. Uh, a very pink Bulbasaur. Um, God, I'm gonna hit the wrong button one of these days. I got a Charmander under Squirtle. That's pretty funny. I probably don't want to go with that. And a Natu. What the? Oh, shoot! I guess I picked Natu. I told you that I was gonna end up uh, hitting the wrong buttons. I think I need to remap my controls. But okay, I was just about to say what the heck type is Natu, which while this is going, I think I'm gonna search that up. I think he's like psychic or something. But, uh, oh, this is already going to be a disaster, I can tell. Natu, type. I spelled it as wrong as possible. Have you ever spelled type with an H? Um, uh, Natu, it is psychic and flying. Natu has never really been one of my favorite kinds of Pokemon, but that typing sounds pretty good, so I I'm going to keep it. Pokemon is really quite energetic. Taka received the Natu from Professor Oak. Do you want to give a nickname? That's the rules. Uh, and this is the part where I cut to 30 minutes later because I couldn't think of a nickname. Doesn't he evolve into, like, some something with, like... I think it's its wings that are, like, around its, uh... Around its body. Let me, let me Google search. Natu Evolution. Uh, yeah, that's right. It evolves into Zatu at level 25. And it does... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna name him Sage. Or is it a girl? It's a girl. She's gonna be named Sage. Because it looks like some kind of like sage-ish kind of stuff with that robe of wings. So I guess that's just what we're going to go with. I need to decide within the next episode if I want to... Um, Charmander. If I want to remap my controls or whatever. Because I've got WASD for movement right now on my keyboard. And then I've got Z for A and then X for B. So it's all on my left hand, and I think I'm getting controlled. Wait, Taka! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! Just so you know, these voices are going to change drastically because I'm going to have trouble to remembering them. Look at us go! Swimmer Raz! I didn't... Man, you, you go fast in that pool, friend? Is that what you do? Alright. It's our first battle. Oh yeah, and you can see up in the top left where it says Charmander, the names are not capitalized, so that's good. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Taka, you've never had a Pokemon battle before. The Pokemon battle is when trainers put their Pokemon against each other. Uh, the trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to... <laughs> um, what are those called? Quotation zero, comma, quotation wins! But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Let's see, we got Peck and Leer. Cool. Let's Peck it to death. You better not kill my Natu. Immediately. Inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle! Yeah, you can growl me down. I'll just keep scratching you to death. Or, I'm sorry, pecking. Sage! Go for its eyes! That was a critical hit. Can I get a critical hit? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Please, no more of those criticals. <gasps> oh! Eee! I win. Thank God. Charmander fainted. Yay! Take that, Swimmer Raz. <gasps> what? Unbelievable! I've picked the wrong Pokemon! Yeah, what do you say about that, Colin? You like, uh... Mm, excellent! You like Charmander? I, I think that fits you pretty well. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will gain XP. Uh, battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong! Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Taka, Gramps... Smell you later! <laughs> oh my god, it's been so long since I've done uh, a Let's Play of any kind and these voices and stuff. Uh, do I need to heal Sage? Or is she healed from that? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Also, do I have the running shoes? Also, what the heck button would that be? Give me just a second and see if I can figure out what that's laid out to. There we go. An item in the bag can be registered to select for easy use. Alright, guess I didn't need that. Um, and also... Look, look! I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs! Trainer tips! Press start to open the menu! Man, aren't you just the greatest little girl of all time? Speaking of, I probably should have figured out how to save before this, because I don't think actually using the game to save works. I think I have to do, like, the save state thing. Uh, and also, the Nuzlocke technically is not on yet. Because I don't have Pokeballs, right? That's how this works. Oh, let's see what's in this grass, though. Oh! Oh! Get, get me out! Get me out! Oh! <laughs> okay, let's go get the parcel. Just a little bit faster. Oh my Jesus Lord. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. That was horrifying. I'm gonna make my voice crack 50,000 times. Is that all that's in the grass, or is it gonna be like... Oh, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Oh my god. What is about to happen to me? Oh, you don't sell anything yet. Frick. Okay. Like I said, this is going to be a disaster for you to watch. Because I don't know my way around Pokemon super well. And friggin' that's gonna happen to me, and Sage is going to get pulverized into lava in molten rock, apparently. Um, maybe I should have unchecked the, uh, use legendaries thing. Jesus. Oh, okay. Enough freaking out. Um, what else am I gonna run into in that grass? Jesus lord. Alright, Professor Rogue. Time to... Give me Pokeballs or something so I can get this on. I forgot to start reading. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? There we go. Freaking level 3 ground on. I'm gonna cry. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps! Yay! I almost forgot! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing completely random voices. Uh, what did you call me for? Alright, I have a request for you two. On the desk here is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Taka and Raz, take these with you. Taka. Taka has received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can get detailed data on a Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to complete the data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Five Pokeballs. 
I hope to dear God that I don't hit Groudon again. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get this job done. I keep trying to talk tangents while I'm reading, and I just start skipping through. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Taka, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Taka. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. That is exactly where I'm going. But anyway, um, I hope I don't trip over Groudon again, because I'm going to take a wild guess and say that its catch rate is like 2%, and I'm just going to use all five of my Pokeballs, and it's going to use like a level 3 Earthquake on me, and I'm just going to... Mm, I'm going to insta-die. I'm so scared! I've never done a Nuzlocke before. I'm going to go ahead and save state. Um, in slot number one right there. Okay, cool. What time are we at? Uh, we're at 17 minutes. And let, let's double check. See how many Pokeballs I have. Um. Oh, I'm nervous. Please don't give me the ground on. Please. Please. Something else that isn't like a Pidgey or something. Something decent. Oh. A Whalmer. It's also a girl. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna, by the way, normal people I know won't be doing, like, uh, type checking and stuff. Um, oops. But I'm honestly gonna allow it for me because I don't know this stuff and I don't know what type Wilmer is gonna be. It's water. So, I mean, I'm, j I'm just gonna take a wild guess and hope that it can't insta-destroy me. Okay. Splash it is, thank god. I'm gonna peck it, uh, what, one more time? No, that's probably good. Please tell me you don't just know Splash. Because I'm going to be upset if that's all you know. I almost ran with these controls. Pokeball time, go! One. Frick. I wonder if I could uh, Pokeball it one more time. Or, I mean, scratch it. I honestly don't want to take the risk because this is uh, my first encounter. You know. One. Two. Frick! Arg almost had it! I swear to God, if all it knows is Splash. If I get down. If this Pokeball doesn't work, I'm gonna scratch it one more time. And then from there. Uh, I hope to God it's not going to kill it. I really hope. No, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to use one more. And then from there, I only have one more Pokeball. So I'll scratch it one more time rather than... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! Yeah! I'm sorry. I was, like, clicking my uh, controls around and stuff. And I accidentally hit the right button, which was the button that I assigned the super speed to. Because I didn't want to accidentally find it. And I just accidentally found it. So, yay, Whalmer. When it sucks in a large volume of seawater, it becomes like a big bouncy ball. It eats t a ton of food daily. Oh, you know what we gotta name this. <laughs> it's a girl. Oh my god. So, of course you know that the choice is either between chunk or thick with two C's. Um. Uh. What about, like, the chunk? <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Um, backspace is select, right? No, that's what it told me it was. We're gonna do... Th <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Am I proud of what I'm doing? Not really, but... When you, when you tell me it eats a ton of food every day, you, you can't expect me to not. Um, okay. I, d I don't know how if I should, like, stay here and train up a little bit. Uh, I assume all training should be done off-screen or, uh, in general, just... I can probably kill these Whalemers. Because all he's doing is splashing. I'm gonna see if it attacks me at all. Um. I forgot to check and see, <laughs> see if the 
Chonk knew anything else besides that. Oh my god. How am I gonna train it then? Am I gonna have to like swap train it? It's- something's gonna die. Well, it's probably gonna die. Hey, Sage is up. Level 6. I'm probably just gonna record for like... Uh, I say maybe since it's the first episode, I'll record for like... 20 to 25 minutes and then see what I can chop out and then from there I'll probably record like 30 minute episodes or so and uh, Cut it from there because there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff that I don't care about necessarily But yeah, you know, we restored your we hope to see you again Let's uh, let's check and see what the chonk knows <sighs> Frick these controls. I need to find a better layout. I don't like that noise. God dang it. I hope you learn something. I'm gonna have to check your moveset and like what you learn over the next episode. But um, I guess we'll take a visit to the Mart real quick. And I might just go ahead and end the episode there. And then we can start uh, the next episode with my randomized catching tutorial, I guess. Hi there, how may I help you? I'm gonna buy a couple more Pokeballs because yeah, I'm gonna up myself back up to five. That's not going to destroy too much. And then I'm going to get an emergency antidote. Just in case if I'm caught out there. And I have one potion, so let's up it to five. And that should have me pretty well set up for now, at least. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good. So, if I do a time check down here. We're currently at 22 minutes. Perfectly exactly where I wanted to leave off. So I'm going to uh, walk up here to Mr. I'm going to teach you how to catch a Pokemon. And I'm going to do my save state over this slot. And that means we are good. I'm all saved and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to check out both Roge the Doge, the artist, and Razkun the template laying out. Also uh, Swimmer Razkun apparently. But, uh, yeah, this has already been fun. It's definitely a new experience for me. It's going to get disastrous. I know dang well. But, uh, yeah, I'll check in at the beginning of next episode, let you know if I did any off-screen training or whatever, or maybe I recorded it and you see it at the beginning. But cool. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed it. And without carrying this on for too long, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.